Toe socks? His toes are out. You can see his toes. Oh. He's like, um, you ever watch Cloudy have a chance of meatballs? Oh, he's got the spray on shoes. Yeah. He's got the spray on shoes, except it's like the underbody part. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's got the spray on outfit. You know, when you, when you never want to change your clothes. <laughs> this here we go, folks. This is winners finals. Masoma versus Big Black, a huge rivalry that has been spanning years at this point. Yep. And uh, this is going to go pretty typically like a zoner rushdown matchup. As, as much as Undernight can be, they're both going to be running at each other sometimes, but a lot of the time it's going to be Masoma trying to keep Big Black at bay while Big Black tries to run and get this mix started, and that flash kick catching the very tip of it and letting Masoma take their turn here. You know, we're just sending out those fireballs, playing it safe right here, and just keeping Big Black zoned out until Masoma can find that one to opening to get in, and there's a cross up overhead. Big Black are not ready. It's always a jump scare when that happens. Big Black caught walking forward, gets caught with that low, but doesn't manage to get a combo, but gets caught again after that chain shift. And Big Black is in a lot of trouble here after this combo. It's going to be a lot of damage down. He has the ring set up. Nice block on that overhead. Big Black, very low health. Oh, okay, we're breaking out with the reversal. But get the full change up afterwards as well. Damage. I think this is going to go corner to corner, coast to coast. Yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, Big Black spending this meter, not let it, just trying to losing this first round is such a big momentum hit. Oh, and a big counter hit into the gold throw, into the web, and the sh could be it. That's really heavily scaled. Big Black has the meter here. It's gonna be a robbery here. Big Black stealing it away from Masomo with a lot of resources spent. Oh my god, tries to round start dash B. It worked on both characters in the cast, but not quite Kuon. And the Masoma already making Big Black hurt for that mistake here in the round start. Oh no, Big Black. Okay, finds an opening in return. Yeah, and this is gonna be the same combo we saw last time. Just push the Soma as far as possible, get this set up here with these webs and try and put some pressure down. Big Black has a pretty significant level advantage or grid advantage, and it's gonna try not to let the Soma shield them too much so they can keep it. Gonna win this cycle here, use the chain shift. Nice blocks on that, and a nice punish on that mix there. This should put the Soma in this corner, and Big Black does have 200 meters, gonna close the game out here. Okay, come on, just spend the meter. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Just end it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Big Black could have easily done something like, you know, a steer ender into IW and just kills it early like that. But I know, I Big Black just wants to make sure it kills, make sure it does as much damage as possible. And Big well, Black taking that first game here in this set. Sometimes, sometimes it's the easier combos that you drop when you're like, oh, I should just do an easy one. That's the one you drop. Sometimes it's a lot better to just go with what you're comfortable with, go with what you already wanted to do when you started that combo. That's true. You ever played? Uh, you ever played Blaze Blue? You oh, know yeah, Naoto. Blue. <laughs> they yeah. always they always get their hard combos, but they always drop their easy ones. Yeah, it's like <laughs> they do all the dashes and they do A, B, C and drop that somehow. <laughs> Big damage here on Big Black, though. A Masoma putting down about half health and getting this pressure going. Portable one for Masoma here and trying to get this mix started. Oh, huge grand break. This is basically going to secure Masoma the next Morpho cycle whenever it comes around. Oh, no, no, it doesn't. Crazy mash out. And now Big Black is going to steal the Vorpal away here and going to be able to get this mix started. Going to have a meter to spend. Text the throw here for Masoma. Or Masoma texts the throw, but Big Black does stop this Vorpal, so Masoma can't run too much pressure. Spend on the chain shift there from Big Black, trying to get some pokes down. Keep Masoma in this corner, keep them blocking, but they weren't blocking in enough, and Big Black gets taken out by a match there. And I like what uh, Masoma is doing for these round stars, what Masoma is doing for this uh, for this uh, defense, right? Because Masoma knows that, you know, uh, Kuon's defense is a bit flawed. So instead, just using that meter for the 2-3-6C, a very fast laser that leads into a cool combo on hit and is also plus safe on block as well. So um, Masoma just using that as like a smart, safe option, spending some meter, but it's okay with that because Kuon gains so much meter both in neutral and in combos. 
Looks like they got a little bit lost in the sauce there and flew a little too far away. And let Big Black be able to take this turn here, get this Vorpal. But some nice shielding there from Asoma means that Big Black is very likely to not win this next cycle. But a DP here gets it close, goes for the charge, it's dead even, and Big Black steals the Vorpal there by a little bit. Has some meter on the table. Will this be enough to kill? Yes, it will. Cancels a straight into it. We're just going to just hop, hop into 5A to finish things off Big Black. I don't know if that's intentional, but that's that's a BM right there. Yeah, I mean, you got to throw it out sometimes. The Somo with a big combo here, putting about half down on to Big Black. Sending some meter to keep him in this corner. Very nice. Who on has that Vorpal? So this does make um, Heavenly Law a lot cheaper to use as a pressure option. And that we just saw that right there, punished with the lasers. Yeah, once again, just easy combo conversions for easy damage um, if those find it smart. We also gotta worry about that tracking. Special move from Big Black. The Spire is coming out of the ground. It's just Street Fire all over again. JP. <laughs> Oh, Masomo with a good press there is going to take this one away from Big Black. And I believe that is 1-1 one, one now. Yes, we are. Yeah, this set is definitely going to go the distance. I saw the set, I'm like, it's 3-0? No, not a chance. These are <laughs> going to go to 1-3 at least, 2-3, I expect. Yeah, definitely. And I mean, both these players, they, they know what's going on. They know what's up. They're fighting for it. Um, just very intense battles for Vorpal here. Both black done by fraction of an inch misses on punishes. And Big Black is going to get this started here. Going to get the pressure started. Not building 100. Building 100 meter. Might go for the full thing. Gets caught by the DP though. Yeah, I find it interesting that you say like battle for Vorpal, right? Because Kuan has to spend so much grit and loses Vorpal so often because um, they have to use that Heavenly Law as a mobility option as a pressure option in a neutral and in once again in pressure so um it becomes very expensive and because of that misoma knows that and it's just playing very reserved and that limits so much of kuan's toolkit and that is what you really want to have when you're playing against a character like yakia who's just so dominant with a, such a well-rounded moveset yeah and yakia doesn't really ever need to worry about grid too much they can just they just kind of get it naturally by playing the game they want to play but a character like kuan on the, it's all they're thinking about. Yes, yeah, we're seeing it right here. Not really using the floats too often. Playing very reserved. But once you find, once you get in, you know it's okay to spend it as a pressure option. Even if you don't have the Vorpal, you can always gain it if you have enough time. Like we're seeing right here. And look at this meter gain just going up. We are at 200 meter. We started at like what 50 meter. Yeah, and getting that off of what looked like a little bit of an American reset, they're gonna even out this game here, and it's a perfect. Okay. Yeah, just try and get it the game state as close to it. It was. It's always a little hard with the meter carrying over, but yeah, for sure. But looks like we're playing the game once again. Oh no! Yeah, um, Masoma trying to zone out with the lasers once again, but Big Black using that anti zoning tool with the six six C catching Masoma right there and going into the full conversion right afterwards. Here's the web setup as well. I gotta worry about this. Oh, nice! I got the throw. Gold throw. I think that's what Masoma kind of wants, right? Uh, wants Big Black to go for these kind of gold throw attempts, and so Masoma can tech them and just get rid of the webs entirely. Yeah, and after this combo, gonna get another web set up. Oh, but the DP's baited, and that's gonna be the round, the game here for Big Black. All right. Yeah. A bit, again, a bit unfortunate to see that we had some technical difficulties really running in to uh, things, stopping the momentum for both of the players. But Big Black going to take that second game here, or third game here, and uh, is now one game up over Masoma. Just needs to win one more if they want to secure their spot in the Grand Finals. Yeah, and we got best of three. So there still is time for Masoma to be able to take this one back. And... I'm hoping we get a game five of this. This is, this is some good undernight. 
Yeah, I'm hoping so too. We're just going to go for the simple steer ender. Get that. I like what you did right there. Going for that steer ender. You know, sacrificing a bit of damage, but gets a good knockdown and also gets that grid gauge built up as well to win that vorpal cycle, which again is really hard for Kulon to get because force functions become so expensive for him. Yeah, crazy block by Big Black there. There's no way anyone here would have blocked that. That was going for that flight into that low, doing it again there, and finally gets the hit. And Masoma is looking like they want to take this to a game five. Man, Kuan really just does what Mercala does. You know, the 50-50 flight setup, high, low, gotta guess. <laughs> I just noticed that. <laughs> yeah, Masoma is coming in swinging on this game, though. Big Black is having a lot of trouble getting anything done. Just getting caught and putting these huge combos. Big Black does have a lot of meter here. Plenty of time to turn this around. But it's covered head. overhead into that throw. All right, one more mix. Plus frames with the projectiles. Now we're just zoning out a bit further. Yeah, we're going to spend that oh, meter as well for the plus on block setup. And Big Black trying to go for a throw. Unfortunately, that was not what Masoma was going for. And now we have a game five, exactly what we wanted, exactly what I expected going into the things. And um, I am excited to see what both these players have to offer here in the final game for winner's finals to secure the spot in grand finals. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you see Masoma and Big Black fight each other in tournament and it not go to a game five very often. This is a close matchup. And this is where we get to see all of it. Big Black just running, a little, trying to get a little bit of pressure, getting a nice catch there. And gonna get the web set up here, send Masoma into this corner. Oh, oh yeah, there you go, punish that. There. Don't let him just do that for free. Like, and oh, goes for the low. low. Puts Big Black into this corner. And he gets the plus frames with that projectile and gets a huge counter hit. This is going to be the round here. Putting Masoma on the set point here, on the winner's finals point. And Big Black now has one game to fight their way out of getting sent to losers. And Big Black has a lot of mirror to work with, but will they be able to use it with how suffocating uh, Masoma's pressure has been so far? Nice spacing on those lasers, on those zoning tools, but you still have to get in, and Masoma's not breaking, using the oh, long-range normals to his advantage. I love that punish as well with the 2C. Yeah, both these characters have crazy long-range normals, so their point blank is about half screen. <laughs> Here, still, okay, nice blocks, but doesn't tech that throw. throw. And Big Black Old throw, so oh, much good, good here. With this verbal state, gonna be able to win the next cycle too. Use the chain shift, try and get a little more pressure, but that does let Masoma win this cycle. I mean, it's gonna be a lot easier for them to get out. Right, just playing patient here. Floating around, doing out some lasers, and now it's time to get in, close the distance, let's get this party started. Okay, we're just gonna go for a simple block string right there, big black, not breaking. Oh no, 5C press, it actually gets punished by that fireball. Put into this corner, big black does have Vorpal here, but gets caught by the overhead, and Masoma can close it out here, doesn't have quite enough meter I don't think. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go for one more combo. Big Black getting that chain shift. Here, Masoma and giving them their turn. The web is set up and gets caught with that full screen. Move. Oh, gotta be so careful right now. Masoma, so little. Like, like, both these players, so little. Oh! And Masoma gonna take it.